All right, guys, uh, good morning. Uh, it is uh, 521. Um, got a load on 520 like a set of wood. And uh, <clears throat> out of uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina, about 60 miles from the house. And uh, run it down to Albany, Albany, mile, Georgia. Right, I'm country, so. It could be either. But anyway, uh, went ahead and run it straight through last night. Um, stopped at a Waffle House and uh, got some rest for the night. Got up this morning, got me something to eat. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, found another load right in Albany. So I just, uh, what you're, you're about to see is uh, us getting this unloaded at the customer down here in Albany, first drop, and um, I'm actually on my way to um, pick up my first load for today, and it'll be heading to make it. Um, heading back that way, and when we get there, we will find something else. And hopefully we'll be just as lucky as we were yesterday and today. Howdy, ma'am. All right, you found oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, come on, you can go with me. Oh, I wish I can. <laughs> right oh, that's right. Yeah, I was getting ready to take that with me. Uh, Thank you, you so me? much. Yes, ma'am, you do the same. All right. I ain't gonna lie, she smelled really nice. But, um, <clears throat> but anyway, hopefully we'll get just as lucky uh, when we get to making. Um, anyway, stay tuned, guys. Just pick this loader bucket up here and uh, making. I'm sorry, Albany, going to Macon. Yep, 350 a mile. So, got her all chained down. Got the blanket up there to keep from scratching her up. Got the bungees wrapped around. I used the old school chain binders. But, uh, but anyway, guys, that's that one. We're going to get on the road later. guys hey um sun's going down i'm gonna do a quick video right quick it's uh 8 45 on 5 21 that's tuesday um kind of give you a quick bit uh, update um from the pilot video that was on sunday um monday morning got up um started checking the load boards and stuff <clears throat> um I did get turned down a couple times because my MC is only um, 60 days old. Not a big deal. Just got to keep on uh, keeping on. So <clears throat> I kept calling around. I found a load out of uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, for all my uh, Trexler buddies down there off the old infamous Cherry Road. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I picked it up down there. Um, I think I got that load, the, the rate comp over after signing up with them somewhere around uh, about 11 o'clock. Um, got down there, picked it up. Um, it's just two crates, um, maybe two foot by two foot square, and they were about 20 foot long. Um, they said it was 10,000 pounds. Uh, normally when it's 10,000 pounds, it's 12,000 pounds. But um, anyway, got it loaded up. Um, and I was going to go buy a scale house, and uh, here's the funny part. I was going to go buy a scale house, but I'm not going to lie to you. I was so excited about getting my first load. <clears throat> I missed two scale houses. Not scale house, I'm sorry. Truck stops, cat scales. I was going to get the cat scale. 
Um, so I was on the phone talking to my buddy Chicken Wing, and um, we was talking about my first load. And <clears throat> told him I'd missed get uh, stopping at a cat scale. And um, I told him I was going to get off on the 48, heading down 77 in Columbia. <clears throat> and I've, I've been at that truck stop a couple times. So, and I didn't know, but he was on his way up from Columbia back. <clears throat> and uh, so I got off the phone, I answered the phone for some reason. Anyway, uh, he texted me, he said, hey, bud, I'm waiting on you at the 48. I looked down and I was passing a container, <clears throat> dragging his feet in the right lane. And when I looked up, I passed exit 48. <laughs> so anyway, I called him back and I said, uh, hey, chicken wing, uh, I passed the 48. <laughs> so, of course, uh, he gave me down the road like good friends do, made me feel lower than a pregnant aunt. Um, but uh, it was all in good fun. But, uh, no, nah, that would have been cool, man. I hate I missed that because I hadn't seen him in a while since the last time we had a little shindig over at his house. But anyway, so I went ahead and rolled out and started heading toward Albany, Georgia. That's where it was going. And <coughs> with, the, uh, with my drive time, I was actually going to get there and, um, and have a few hours left over. But I had to uh, call at 7.30 and... Um, this morning to get an appointment uh, per the broker um, so I called and a nice lady answered the phone and uh, she said you don't have to have an appointment you come anytime between 8 and 4 and uh, so um, I was like alright cool um, so I pulled in at a truck stop the pilot going to find me a place to uh, to sleep for tonight about 45 minutes away get me something to eat i did get me some arby's to eat um but the truck stop was full but i did notice there was a waffle house right there off the exit that had a, enough room for about four trucks so i wheeled my little ass around uh, when i left there and i went to the waffle house and parked um <clears throat> Sleeping arrangements were okay, but I forgot to put my window lock on, and uh, I guess my big toe kept reaching up there and rolling the window down, so it woke me up a couple times last night, so I'll be putting the window lock on tonight. Um, so I got up about six o'clock. I hear you, baby, singing the song of my people. Um, went there and got me something to eat, and um, got on the load board. Uh, try to find me something uh, out and get me out of Albany. Um, I did find something um, out of Albany, back to Bacon. Um, so where I dropped off at, my first drop this morning in Albany, my pickup was 10 minutes down the road at a cat dealership. Um, and it was, a, it was a loader bucket, it weighed about 7,500 pounds. Um, and that reminds me this is why they call me squirrel okay so I did weigh that first load and it weighed about 7,000 pounds all right so now we're going to fast forward this is where the squirrel comes in <laughs> um, you know when you see them in the road the middle of the road they're like they don't know which way to go uh, so I, I stopped in there and picked it up real nice guys <clears throat> Got that loaded chain down and um, headed on up the road. It was like 97 miles to Macon from Albany. Paid $352. Um, it was a $350 load. Didn't take me you know, two hours to run that load up the road. Two hours and 15 minutes, something like that. So I got up to Macon, pulled in. Um, they had me offloaded in about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, so there was a Love's. Uh, right down the road, off the same service road the cat dealer was on in, in Macon. Went down there and I spent about two and a half hours um, trying to find a load. Uh, and I looked up and found one out of Ball Ground, Georgia. 
<clears throat> shout out to the folks around there. I'll see you in the morning. But I found that load. It's going uh, from Ball's Ground um, to, um, ah, shoot. Now I know how South Georgia Hotshot feels because he does the same thing. Forgets where he's at and all that stuff. So I understand. Um, it's going to Lawrence, New Jersey. Got to deliver on Thursday morning. So I'll pick it up tomorrow. Go home and see my baby. Um, get me four or five hours of sleep. Try to leave out about 1.32 a.m. So uh, I get up here in New Jersey and stuff. About the time the traffic gets thick. Because that's the way I like to roll. You know, right in the middle of the traffic. Um, so I'm going to get that dropped off. But I'm going to get on uh, uh, my handy dandy. And see if I can't find me a partial or something to pick up. The load I'm picking up tomorrow is like 2,300 pounds. Uh, I think it's 24 foot long, so I'll try to see if I can't, you know, find something around 7,500 pounds or less. You know, about you know, 10, 10 feet long, something like that. Uh, to take home. If not, when I get home tomorrow afternoon, I'll definitely try to find me something north of um, the house to pick up. Um, but we'll see. But right now, I am sitting in Jackson, Georgia at the Pilot Flying J. And uh, <laughs> You know that old song Darius Rucker sings? When is the last time you did something for the first time? Yeah, well, this is the first time I've ever took a shower at a truck stop. And man, let me tell you something. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice showers. Um, yeah, I could have stayed in there for an hour and got my $12 worth. But the shower was free because when you get $50 in fuel, well, I'm sorry, gallons, um, you get a free shower. So, it takes me two fill-ups to get a shower. So, I take a shower like once every three days. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, the line in there at Wendy's was about a mile long. Um, so, I'll go back in there in a little bit and uh, get me something to eat. Uh, and I got me some breakfast for in the morning because I'm going to roll out about five, you know. You gotta get, you gotta have your Rice Krispie treats, you know. Um, it feels old. I haven't opened the package yet, but I mean, it just it feels old, like outdated. We'll find out in the morning. I'll give you an update on that too. But anyway, so that's uh, that's pretty much my day. Um, three loads, and uh, so far, um, you know, they've totaled about. Um, $2,500. So um, I'll try to catch me um, a load out of um, New Jersey. Coming back down, and then I'm going to be home. <clears throat> um, so for the, the long weekend or whatever. But anyway, so that's pretty much Squirrel's first week of uh, big rigging and a little rig. OTR baby OTR but anyway uh, y'all have a good evening um, we'll catch you up on the next video I'll try to put some pictures and stuff in hope you like it hope it's not too long if it is just cut it off just make sure you like and subscribe appreciate it